will run a stronger line right here. Now remember, I told you to use your imagination, how everything that you see can be useful. Remember this good old polyfiber we had here earlier that we were using here? If you just dip it in there and then just dab it around, it helps to break up all those lines that are in it and give you more of a grassy hillside. I bet you never even thought about using that for a paintbrush. Don't worry, it took me a while before I thought about it too. Here's a darker green that it'll work just great on. Because if you look at a hillside, it's got all kinds of different colors in it where the sun is glistening off of it, where there's some valleys in it. And we'll break that up a little bit more later on when we do the trees. But while we're doing this, let's go ahead and do the same thing to create our clouds up here. I've got another piece I cut that's a little bit more oval shape. Okay, let's get onto the trees. So let's take some brown and we'll just make the trees up like this. Make some little ones out in the back background. And let's not forget the other side as well. We might want to put a couple over here too. Try a little black on there too, just to accent a little. Now the next thing we're going to do is put the leaves in and we're going to go back to the polyfiber again because it really does a great job of this. Well, that's some really green, green, green because we have to contrast with the rest of what's out here already. use little other colors besides. We'll accent it up a little bit. Now we let this dry and then we can bring it down here. In fact we'll take it down now. All right as you can see remember we painted on the cloud here and we got our cloud a little behind here but let's take care of this one and emphasize it a little bit you can take a little bit of the cloud material they give you, stretch it out a little bit, and touch just a little bit of the cement to it, and press that cloud into it. You can see now how you can see the cloud a little bit better. I want to put the backdrop on, so we're going to put some tape to stick it down with. Uh, and I'm going to do one more cloud, but we're going to show you how to do that once it's down. So let's take the sticky two-sided tape. And one on the other side. And we'll put the background on. Take the material you have for the cloud and just... Pull it all out so it's a nice, big, fluffy one. Now you're also given some wire in the kit, so what you want to do is take your wire out and unroll that piece. That's probably long enough. Might even make it shorter in a minute here. And you kind of want to feed it right through the cloud. Once you have the wire strung, strung through it, Judge about how much you'll need, band it over, and cut yourself the excess off. Poke the wire into the top of the board, and then lower your cloud over. You know, in looking at it, 
you might want to add one or two little features from the building and structure kit that you made the teepee. You might take a couple of the logs, chop them all up, make yourself a fire. Now you have to make sure that fire is lit, so let's take a little bit more of the cloud material and stick it right into the top so we know that fire is burning. Now that you got it all finished, don't forget that personal touch. And get that A.